There is a lot of work which needs to be done to really gain the confidence, you know, the psychological impact, you know, the radiation impact. So what we have been doing at NASA is to put instruments on our mission to measure the radiation. So Mars Curiosity carried a specific instrument for human missions uh, called RAD, and that's a radiation assessment detector. And it is designed to actually measure the amount of radiation that Curiosity saw en route from Earth to Mars and then on the surface of Mars. And one of the things that we, we saw is that you could feasibly do a human mission from Earth to Mars, that the radiation dose is safe for a human's lifetime um, to do it, but we still need to protect them at some level. The good news is we think it's a solvable problem but it's still one of the big issues to be addressed for human missions to Mars. So it's, that's all of that, what we call proving those techniques in the human environment. But if something really major happens, negative, you can come back in three, four days. So you prove all the techniques that you need for Mars, but not being at Mars. It's both the training of the astronaut, but also developing the technology. You know, because a lot of these things, the spacecraft or transportation vehicle, have to do it somewhat on their own. You want to be in a mode where not every issue the astronauts have to go and fix it. That's what we call the proving grounds.